This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 642. Second New Year's resolutions, here's how to fix them. Part two, by Steve Camp of nerdfitness.com, and I'm Dr. Neil. A very happy new year to you if you're listening in real time, and a very happy Tuesday. Welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I simply read to you from the best health and fitness blogs for free. I cover fitness, nutrition, stress management, weight management, and lots more, just like an audiobook, but from a bunch of different authors, and always with permission from the sites, of course. Now, last year was a wonderful year, and a lot of that is thanks to you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being a subscriber. I hope that 2019 is just as happy and just as prosperous for you. And of course, today we're talking about New Year's resolutions or not setting New Year's resolutions and how to make sure that if you do have a goal for yourself, you're actually able to reach it. So today's post is part two from yesterday. So if you're new here or skipping around, I'd recommend listening to yesterday's episode first. That's episode 641. But if you're all caught up, Let's hear part two and continue optimizing your life. Suck at New Year's resolutions, here's how to fix them. Part two by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Step three, hack your bat cave. Every day, everything around us subtly influences us. Think of it like the force. It's a battle between the light and the dark. And if you're not careful, the dark side can pull your strings and influence you without even knowing it. That bowl of candy on your desk is begging for you to acknowledge its existence. You have to use willpower throughout the day to tell yourself, don't eat the candy, don't eat the candy. At your computer, you have to use willpower all day long. Don't check Facebook, don't go to BuzzFeed, don't go to Imager. Of course, we all cave in. We check Facebook, Gmail, Imager constantly. And then it takes us four times as long to get anything done. If our new habit was around productivity, our bat cave would be a part of our system that sets us up for failure. When we come home from work, we have to tell ourselves, don't watch TV, go exercise. Don't go to McDonald's, even though that makes you happy. Go eat a salad again. In every scenario, you have to use willpower and motivation to do the things you need to do instead of the things your brain desperately wants you to do. And remember, willpower is limited. So what's a nerd to do? Take control and alter your environment to remove the dark side from the equation. Build systems that automate healthy behavior. Out of sight, out of mind. It's tough to fall back on old habits when those old habits are literally impossible to continue doing. We call this building your bat cave at Nerd Fitness. Just like Bruce Wayne uses his bat cave to improve his chances of being a better Batman and protecting Gotham, you are going to build your bat cave to improve your chances at being more awesome at life. How to do that? Step one, increase the steps between you and a bad habit you're trying to get rid of. This is just like the examples I mentioned. Make it harder to do the old habit. Changes that fight your old habits might include throwing out all junk food in your house or blocking time-wasting websites on your computer or it could be canceling your cable and Netflix after you've watched Daredevil and Jessica Jones, of course. Or it could be putting your TV in your closet giving the power cord to your PlayStation 4 to your friend, putting your alarm clock across the room so you have to get out of bed to turn it off, or moving your cell phone charger out of your bedroom so you can't lie in bed and check it. Step two, decrease the steps between you and a good habit you're trying to build. The fewer the steps, the greater the chance you'll actually do it. Examples of these include only stocking your fridge with nutritious foods, sleeping in your workout clothes, packing your gym bag and leaving it in the back of your car always so you can work out before or after work. Buy a Kindle with books loaded on it and bring it everywhere so you read more. Put the instrument you're learning in the middle of your living room. Change the language on Facebook to the language you're trying to learn so you're always practicing. Remember, forget willpower. Don't leave it up to the whims of inspiration or motivation. Create your own success by structuring your life and building your bat cave so your life is a system designed to change for the better. So, now we have a reward and accountability system. We have hacked our bat cave and put systems in place to get us to do what needs to get done. Lastly, if you really want to succeed, you need allies. So, step four is surround yourself with allies. Now that you have systems in place, it's time to recruit allies and teammates just like in a video game, to help you out. 
This could mean joining a running club at work or starting a gym group on Facebook or joining nerd fitness message boards. They're free and supportive as We become the average of the people we associate most with. If those people are successful, fit, and happy, we're subtly influenced in that direction. On the other hand, if we surround ourselves with negative people or are in a negative relationship, you will be influenced in that direction. So build yourself a Jedi council of people who want to level up. Surround yourself with people who have succeeded in the way you want to succeed. Think of it as your Yoda. Hang around people who are at the same level as you to keep each other accountable, your fellow Jedi. Hang around those who are slightly behind you, people you can teach and help, your Padawan, and people who help push you outside your comfort zone and challenge you to be different and take risks, your Han Solo. You do not have to go it alone. Surrounding yourself with allies can be the difference between completing your quest and never building that new habit. How to implement this strategy now. Instead of resolutions, I want you to implement the strategies I mentioned by picking a habit or quest you would like to complete and putting the system in place to make it happen. This includes identifying the daily habit and system, hacking your Batcave, and recruiting allies. Following the advice of the three steps I just mentioned, here are some examples to get your brain thinking about how this can work. For example, I want to lose weight. You could eat one vegetable every day for a month to earn a new pair of pants. Or you can sleep in your workout clothes and pay your friend $50 for every skipped workout. Or find an accountability buddy at your office who will work out with you. Let's say you want to learn a new language. You could practice your language starting on day one for 10 minutes each day. After two weeks, you then get to go to that expensive restaurant you've had your eyes on. You could also change your Facebook account to a foreign language like French or Spanish. You can use italki.com to hire a language teacher for one hour per week. Let's say you want to run your first 5K. You could run or walk for at least five minutes, five days per week for the next month. After one month, you've then earned a new pair of running shoes. You could put your alarm clock across the room and you can join a running club. Let's say you want to start a blog. You will write 250 words every morning before you check your email or you will use freedom.to to block time-wasting websites and give your friend $50 every time you don't write. You can also join a writer's group on the Nerd Fitness message board. Let's say you want to learn to play an instrument. You'll rent a guitar from the local store and play for five minutes every day. You'll put the guitar in the middle of your living room and will cancel your cable. You'll try to reach out to your friend who already plays and ask him for a lesson. Level up your life. 2019 is going to be a big year for you. You're not going to rely on motivation and willpower. Those things stand no chance against the dark side. Instead, you're going to build systems and create power habits the right way. You are going to level up yourself as you reach goals and reward yourself with the things that reward you back. You're going to surround yourself with people who positively influence you and you're going to level up your life starting right now. If your quests are health and fitness based, check out Nerd Fitness because they have a bunch of free resources you need to get started. If you're looking for more specific instruction, accountability, and community, check out the Nerd Fitness Academy and Nerd Fitness Yoga to start building better habits. But start right freaking now. You just listened to part two of the post, Suck at New Year's Resolutions, Here's How to Fix Them by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. It is true, we only have so much willpower in the tank. And usually by the end of the day, that willpower is gone. Steve did a great job of discussing some of those little willpower moments that we have every day. And his examples were just a fraction of the willpower that we use on a daily basis. I've mentioned this before. I have a long commute to get to work. And if I really break down the willpower that I use when commuting to work, that alone can zap my willpower for the rest of the day. Think about it. The last time you sat in traffic, by the time you got home, Were you all jazzed up and ready to go for that run? No. You probably just wanted to put your feet up, turn on the TV, and binge on some Netflix while drinking some hot tea and calling it a night. So the point is, if we rely on willpower and motivation, you won't get very far, unfortunately. Steve was so right when he outlined some of these steps. You need allies. Basically, you need social support. You need folks to keep you going. 
to push you during those moments when you're like, "Ah, I just want to put my feet up and relax today. Even though you're feeling otherwise good and healthy, well, you need folks to get you up off that couch. I love the reference to Batman since he's my favorite superhero character, so I love the idea of having your own bat cave and making sure that your environment is triggering you to do these new healthier behaviors. If you don't feel like throwing out all the junk food in your house, maybe you feel like it's wasteful, well, at the very least, put it on a very high shelf and in the very back of the pantry or put it on a very low shelf and out of sight. That one thing will probably change your junk food behavior. For me, simply removing the leftover Halloween candy bowl from the countertop in the kitchen was enough for me to stop grabbing a candy every time I walked in and out of the kitchen. I just took the candy bowl, put it on a very high shelf in my pantry, out of sight, out of mind, now I don't even think about it. Well, of course, I'm thinking about it now, but luckily I'm nowhere near it. And no joke, I almost laughed out loud when he mentioned playing an instrument. I love to play guitar. And for a while, I had to move my guitar from my living room, where it usually is, into the garage. And I found, sure enough, I hardly ever played when my guitar was collecting dust in the garage. When I moved it back into the living room, I was basically playing every day. So instead of turning on the TV to binge on Netflix, I would actually reach for my guitar instead. So I agree with Steve that if you can follow one, two, or even all of these suggestions, you'll be much more likely to actually reach your goals this year. Now, before I go really quickly, speaking of social support, if you want to be part of a group of like-minded people and interact with some of the hosts of our shows, join our Facebook group. You can find it by searching for Optimal Living Daily Podcasts on Facebook or use the shortcut link. It's oldpodcast.com slash Facebook. We do bonus book giveaways there and lots more. I thank you again for being here. Thank you for listening every day. Thank you for subscribing. I'm wishing you a very happy and prosperous new year. I hope you're having a great start to your brand new year. And I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift, as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us, and remember, your optimal life awaits.